the Victorian era left us feeling like sex scandals are a new thing. But our ancient ancestors actually put us to shame when it came to high-profile immorality. Their sex scandals were often interlaced with conspiracy, murder, and executions raising the stakes for powerful ancients caught in compromising positions. Before we start, be sure to subscribe and click on the bell so you don't miss new videos. This is the channel learning the world. Let's go! The Scandal That Ended a Country In ancient China, a notorious sex scandal destroyed the state of Chen. According to the commentary of Zhuo, the married Xiaoji was having affairs with Duke Ling of Chen and two of his ministers, who frequently wore her underwear under their clothes. All three openly bragged about the relationship, which enraged Xia Jai's son Xia Xingxu. In the chaos, the two ministers escaped and fled to King Zhuang of Chu, who used the incident as an excuse to conquer Chen. Xia Xingxu was executed, and all China learned a valuable lesson about your mom jokes. The crush that destroyed a tyrant. The brothers Hippias and Hipparchus became co-tyrants of Athens after their father died in 527 BC. But trouble broke out when Hipparchus became infatuated with the handsome youth Harmodius. Of course, in ancient Greece, this was no scandal. What was shocking was that Harmodius was already in a relationship with a man named Aristogiton. Hipparchus was trying to use his power to split up the couple and become Harmodius' new lover. With no other options, Aristogiton and Harmodius decided to go out in a blaze of glory. During the crowded Panathenia festival, they approached Hipparchus and stabbed him to death. The Tarantus guards cut down Harmodius, while Aristogiton was tortured and executed. The Athenians later erected a statue of the lovers, honoring their blow against tyranny. The king who wanted people to ogle his wife. Candals was king of Lydia, a powerful kingdom in what is now western Turkey. According to Herodotus, Candals was a bit of a creep who was always bragging about his hot wife. In 718 BC, he asked his bodyguard, Gyges, if he wanted to see the queen naked. Gyges sensibly declined. But Candals insisted, telling Gyges to hide behind the door of their bedroom so that he could watch the queen get undressed. Unfortunately, she spotted Gyges. And she was furious. Learning what her husband had done, she gave Gyges a choice, kill Candals and marry her, or she would publicly accuse Gyges of spying on her, forcing Candals to execute Gyges. Unsurprisingly, Gyges chose the first option. That night, Candals entered the bedroom and was stabbed to death by Gyges Soho had been hiding behind the door again. Crassus and the Virgin Marcus Licinius Crassus was one of the richest men in history and one of the most powerful figures in Rome. So when he got caught up in a sex scandal, it was big news. It was a particularly juicy scandal, too. Crassus was accused of trying to seduce a Vestal virgin. The Vestals were an order of priestesses who swore chastity, so trying to get one into bed was a major crime. Fortunately for Crassus, he had the perfect alibi. He explained that the Vestal in question owned a really nice villa. The only reason he was always hanging around and flattering her was because he wanted her to sell it to him cheap. Elagabalus The Roman Emperor Elagabalus's whole life was a scandal. Levered into power at age 14 by his grandmother, the teen soon spiraled out of control. Over the next few years, he married at least five wives and one husband, a charioteer named Hierocles. Cassius Dio claims that Elagabalus set up a mock brothel in the palace where he stood nude at the door of the room, while in a soft and melting voice he solicited the passers-by. Men who had been specially instructed to play their part. He enjoyed letting Hierocles catch him at this so that Elagabalus could be violently upbraided by his husband and beaten until he had black eyes. Dio also claims that Elagabalus often referred to himself as a woman and offered a reward to any surgeon who could give him a vagina. It is hard to be sure how many of these stories are true, but accounts of the time agree that Elagabalus was plagued by sex scandals. Sensing that public opinion was souring, his grandmother eventually orchestrated a coup and replaced him with his cousin. That's all for today. If you liked the video, put a like and don't forget to subscribe. Bye everyone.